캐나다 동부 쾌백주를 중심으로 확산한 산불은 지금까지 대한민국의 40%에 달하는 면적을 태우고 이젠 서쪽까지 번지고 있습니다. 현지 시간 9일 브리티시 컬럼비아주 텀블러 리지 마을에서 주민 2,500명이 대피한 데 이어 바로 옆 엘버타주에서도 3,500명 이상이 대피했습니다. 캐나다 산불 연기는 북미 지역뿐 아니라 대서양을 건너 유럽까지 번진 것으로 확인됐습니다. CNN에 따르면 노르웨이 기후환경연구소는 산불 연기가 최근 그린란드와 아이슬란드를 지나 4,600km 떨어진 노르웨이까지 도달한 것을 확인했습니다. 세상 최악의 산불 사태에 미국과 유럽 등 주변국들도 진화 작업을 돕고 나섰습니다. 프랑스와 포르투갈, 스페인이 280명 이상의 소방관을 캐나다에 보내기로 했고 남아프리카 공화국과 호주, 뉴질랜드도 산불 진화 요원을 파견했습니다. 조 바이든 미국 대통령은 성명을 통해 수백만 명의 미국인들이 캐나다 산불 연기에 영향을 받고 있다면서 소방대원 600명과 소방항공기 등을 급파한 데 이어 추가 지원을 약속했습니다. 
From the Midwest to the Northeast and down the East Coast, 90 million Americans are under air quality alerts from wildfire smoke. The dangerous plumes are funneling into 16 states from fires in Canada, where more than 400 are burning, 239 of them remain out of control. Exposure to poor air quality can lead to headaches, irritated eyes, coughing, and difficulty breathing, especially for those with respiratory conditions like asthma. On the satellite, the visible satellite, you can see that pinkish gray area. That is the smoke wrapping around that low pressure system pushing the smoke into the northeast. Now here's what we expect. We are looking at 90 million people impacted by unhealthy air from the wildfire smoke alone. Worst air quality from Lake Ontario to Delaware. You look at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, extremely unhealthy. Hazardous temp conditions in Allentown, very unhealthy in Philadelphia. And here's the deal. As you can see on the image you can watch that smoke push into the Great Lakes, down into Washington. It gets worse here tomorrow. Brooklyn, 현재 캐나다는 한 달이 넘게 통제 불능 수준의 산불에 시달리고 있습니다. Skylines disappearing behind a yellow and orange haze. 90 million under air quality alerts blanketed in smoke, billowing in from Canada where wildfires are raging out of control. Significant delays reported at LaGuardia and Newark Airport. Major League Baseball games canceled in Philadelphia and New York as people are urged to this time lapse showing the New York City skyline disappearing behind a thick veil of smoke, turning from gray to yellow to bright orange. To put some numbers to what you just saw there, on an average day here in New York, right, there are 35 micrograms of fine particles per cubic meter of air. Those are tiny particles like dust and soot. By 6 a.m. yesterday, that number shot up to 160. Then by 6 p.m., that number had more than doubled again to 350 micrograms. The smoke choking 90 million Americans from New England down to the Carolinas. New York and several cities in the Northeast reaching the hazardous air quality level. That's the highest it can go to stand outside in those conditions for 24 hours. Get this, it would be the same as smoking 17 cigarettes. We've got our weather team all over the day in a row. New York City recorded the worst air quality in the world among major cities. Its air quality index or AQI today reaching hazardous levels and nearly doubling that of Delhi, India. Any AQI above 150 is considered unhealthy. Higher than 300 is hazardous. New York City today hit 342. The city's iconic skyline today transformed into frightening shades of color. The apocalyptic-like scenes reminiscent of West Coast wildfires that cast an eerie hue over the San Francisco Bay Area in 2020. Major League Baseball and the WNBA postponing games in Philly and New York as New York City and Buffalo Public Schools canceled all outdoor activities. The state's governor calling the air quality an emergency situation. Safe experts say check air quality alerts regularly on the EPA's website, airnow.gov. If you have a portable filtration unit, run it on high. Clean your air conditioner filter and run that unit's fan on high as well to move as much air as possible through the filter. Take a look here at some of the hot spots right now. Philadelphia, Baltimore, down towards Washington, D.C. We're ranging from unhealthy to hazardous at this point on the AQI scale. We've seen numbers upwards of 200, 300 on that scale. As a result, air quality alerts have been issued from Boston and Burlington down to the Carolinas, out to Detroit, and even parts of the Ohio Valley. And as far as the intensity of the storm, the thicker portions of the storm, I'm sorry, smoke, that is now moved from New York and it'll continue to push down into areas like the Mid-Atlantic and the Delmarva Peninsula. By Friday, the worst of it could actually be in parts of western Pennsylvania as well, in areas like Pittsburgh. And I think the big question is, when does this all clear out? When are we gonna finally return to normal? When will it be safer to go outside? By the end of the weekend, that's when we're going to start to see major improvements. So right now we have that north wind driving the smoke down. What we need is that switch. So that high pressure moves in, that south wind drives up, and then that rain moves in from the west. And that's going to... Uh